Hey, hello, good friends. Hello, hello, good friends. a mind if the mind cannot be changed I read that in a certain book I, I forget uh, because I need to give credit where credit is due but unfortunately I don't remember who said that um, but I remember reading it in a book uh, of what use is a mind if the mind cannot be changed now I have been listening to the debate by Professor Lumumba, a well-known scholar, a well-known um, debater. I've also been listening to the debate by uh, President Yoweli Museveni. And I've also listened to the debate by the former president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, the saint. And uh, when I listen to all of them, um, there is one question that keeps popping in my mind that they all fail to answer. I will excuse Mandela because he's already gone. But Professor Lumumba and uh, <laughs> His Excellency uh, Yoweri uh, Museveni. <laughs> when they when they they make their debate about Africa, they start with a very long, deep historical argument, which extends all the way to the 14th century. And uh, guess who are listening? The other time, uh, Professor Lumumba was in Zambia. To celebrate um, the election of uh, Zambia's new president, a very honorable man, who came up with an argument, a winning argument, that helped him to win an election. Okay, and uh, and so <laughs> Professor Lumumba with an audience of uh, an average age of about, uh, let's say between 18 to 25 years, he made his speech of how Africa was colonized by the colonial masters and how we ended up where we are today. Uh, he talked about um, Kwame Nkrumah, very honorable figure in the African history. Um, now, Professor Lumumba aside, let's also look at um, President Yoweri Museveni. President Yoweri Museveni on the 59th um, Independence um, Celebration Day, he talked about the Bachwezi and the Bachwezi dynasty. And uh, in Uganda, a country of 47 million people, where the median age is 18, with uh, 40, I mean 25 million people below 18 years. 47, but 25 million people are below 18 years. That's almost more than half of the population, I guess. And uh, he's talking about uh, the Bachwezi dynasty. <laughs> um, similar to what Professor Lumumba was uh, talking about um, um, in, at the celebration of the Zambians um, uh, election. Um. 
Now, so that the question uh, that pops out of my mind when they talk, when they make their speeches, is are we going to to to, to use the Kwame Nkrumah's argument uh, or are we going to use the WhatsApp edge argument? In other words, let me but let me put Professor Nkrumah aside because he's a good man. Uh, let me focus on uh, um, Mr. M7. When Mr. M7 speaks, for him, he doesn't even allow anybody to debate with him. He uses what we call a stick argument. A stick argument simply means, don't you see I'm holding a big stick? You will dare say anything against my argument and I'll show you the power of my stick. That's the stick argument. That's the stick argument. Of course, you understand what I mean by a stick argument in terms of today's Museven. And now he's using the stick argument to introduce the idea of, um, of his son becoming the president. But remember, he's talking to an audience of 47 million people where the median age is 18 years with uh, 25 million people less than 18 years and he's using a stick argument well I'm here to remind Professor Lumumba and um, Mr. Yoweri Museven to remind them of uh, the age we are living in long gone is the age of the stick argument we are in the age of what's up i want to draw a picture an illustration to emphasize the difference the contrast the sharp contrast between the stick argument and the whatsapp argument a stick argument is one where we see a cowboy looking after cattle in a bush a whatsapp argument is where we see this young man who has grown up in the whatsapp technology in whatsapp age asking a cowboy like mr m7 who is looking after his cattle what's up what's up so now we have two arguments the whatsapp argument and the uh, stick argument. <laughs> Guess what else we have? We have a young population in Africa and particularly in Uganda where the median age is 18. Now these people are using what I call a stick argument. The young people are not even understanding what they're talking about because their argument is actually a cowboy argument a bush argument and the young people are asking what's up come on guys what's up so i hear the young people saying okay if you don't know how to answer the what's up question wait till we get our hands on the technology Wait till we get our hands on the drones. Wait till you see the drone flying, killing all the cattle. That's when you answer the WhatsApp question. You better answer the WhatsApp question when you still have a breath of air. Because you will have something to say. The other option is not even worth considering. What's up? <laughs> Come on, guys. We are not living in the cowboy age. We are living in a generation, especially Uganda, of young people where, whose median age is 18 years. 
their only question is what's up so tell me which argument is going to win is it going to be the stick argument the other name for the stick argument is it going to be the cowboy argument or is it going to be the whatsapp argument the other name for the whatsapp argument is the technology argument well that's your homework what's up